Welcome to Planet IX Open Talks, where we get to dive deeper into the concept, purpose, and mission of Planet IX, a game that will enable you and all players to co-create the planet of tomorrow. Now, my name is Sabinia, and I'll be hosting these eight upcoming Planet IX Open Talks, where we get to learn, like I mentioned, more about the game, meet guests and experts, and learn more about this amazing platform. And I also want to mention, I also lead sustainability and the impact focus of Planet IX, and I can tell you, Planet IX is definitely going to be a global game changer for sure. So my first question to you is, do you want to be part of creating a better, more sustainable, healthier and flourishing planet? And earn rewards, have fun and contribute to doing good at the same time? Well, buckle up your seats and join this ride because the wait is finally over. Planet IX this week launches its beta version for a selected group of players and networks. And if you're one of the lucky ones to try out the beta version, then you'll be excited to meet my first guests in this episode who are both the two developers behind Planet IX. And they're here today to talk about the game and of course also the beta phase. So a warm welcome, Thank Philippe you. Dunley and uh, Christopher Johnson. Thank you. So guys, I thought just a short intro. Philippe, if I start with you. Yeah, uh, I'm Philippe Dunley. I'm the creative director for Planet IX. Mm. And I'm Christopher. I'm the head of community. So if you've been on Discord already, chances are we've already met. Mm -hmm. And we'll be talking more about Discord a little later. But I thought, let's start. So the beta is out today. I mean, the question is, are you excited? Yes, we are very excited. And I think we have been talking about beta for so long now. It feels like forever. Mm. And now that the beta is finally out, all we hear in the office is full launch, full <laughs> launch. So I think it's a great sign. We're all very excited. and it's it's a sign that things are moving forward. And of course with beta, it means that it's sort of the first version, not all the features are there and so forth. So what would you like players you know, to take away of this beta version? Yeah, so it's the beta version. It's uh, more like a testing ground. Mm. Um, I mean, if we were to let a million people on immediately, uh, we would have no chance of uh, starting small, mm. continue with uh, the, like, all the development of it. And yeah, exactly. Mm. And uh, to see where we want to uh, engage more, mm. what aspects we need to take. So, uh, so, so yeah. So, so how long do you sort of see this beta phase? I mean, it's difficult to say. Mm -hmm. We're aiming for eight weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to be full launching in October. Uh, but that's what we have the beta for. Uh, we just have to wait and see, to be honest. And... Uh, um, yeah, it could be 12 weeks, yeah. um, but we know that we want to um, go for launch as yeah. soon as possible. Mm. Yeah. And on a positive note, because this really is sort of the, the cause for transparency as well, yeah. that you give the players or the beta players an option here to really be part of developing the game. So, so just a question that comes to mind. So if a player um, has an issue or related to beta or wants to raise a question, you know, how does he or she come in contact with, with the team or with both of you? Well, Discord and um, Christopher are there almost 24-7. Christopher almost. has a team as well. Mm. Uh, so any questions that pop, uh, players will be able to reach out. Uh, mm. And quite soon, they mm. will have an answer. We have set uh, a big team there just right now for beta uh, because we know it's a testing phase. So some features uh, might have some uh, hiccups mm -hmm. because it's natural mm -hmm. every big company or small company when there's a game being developed there is a testing phase uh, we tested with uh, a bunch of players uh, but not with thousands and that's the reason mm. uh, that christopher is saying that maybe it also takes a longer time than we initially planned as a two months but we also have uh, references from the industry of mm. like big games being pushed to launch and they they do launch and the game is not entirely ready, and it causes frustrations for both the players and also the developers. Sure. Uh, and we, we are very confident with the content of the beta. We know it's not the full game, mm -hmm. but we are confident with the beta. And I think that's uh, an important uh, mm. mindset for us. Yeah. So, so understanding that you're also, you know, you're open for feedback, for comments, and all of this is then done on Discord. Yeah, right? most of it, yeah. or a lot. Yeah. Uh, Discord is definitely the, the first 
kind of response channel we mm -hmm. want to have with the interaction of the community. Uh, so we try to engage and empower people to be active and uh, discuss different topics uh, and share insights, mm. uh, thoughts about the game, suggestions, whatever comes to mind, basically. Um, and this is what the beta is about as well. I mean, we can try to anticipate, we can imagine what the questions will be, but mm. we have no idea. So that's why it's so important that people, um, yeah, Engage, engage and yeah. uh, help us to develop the, the game and mm. FAQ and mm. uh, all of this. And it becomes a community mm. effort as well, which exactly. of course is, is makes yeah. it relevant. And Nibriu, which I know is the studio behind Planet X, tell yes. us a bit about that because I don't think many people have heard yeah, about it, right? Well, Nibiru is the studio. Uh, it's like what EA is for uh, Battlefield or Ubisoft is for Assassin's Creed, for instance. Mm -hmm. uh, Nibiru stands for Planet IX. Mm. Uh, we are based in Stockholm and we are a very cool uh, studio with very cool people. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> That's a good beginning. And Planet IX is the first yeah. uh, project that we're launching yeah. from yeah. Nibiru. So just mm. to once again go back to the beta phase, tell us a bit more what players will be able to do during this beta phase. Yeah, so it, it's... Like we said, it's not a full launch, it's not a full game, mm -hmm. uh, but there's so much to do still. Uh, I guess the most important thing is to get familiar like mm -hmm. with uh, the functions, mm -hmm. uh, with the uh, interface, with... Because um, it it's a quite complex game if you dive into everything. Mm -hmm. so, so we believe it's a good like a slow start and gives people a good understanding of what to come later. Um, and you can start your collection of picks, mm. uh, which in the end is what the game is all about. Mm. Uh, so, um, yeah. And, and we're going to dive more into the different features. That's why we have yeah. these, you know, at least eight episodes. But I'm also looking, so in the beta phase, you have, of course, individual players. Do you also see that there might be that players will, you know, group together and play in groups? Or, or what do you sort of foresee? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, that's something we want to uh, engage or empower mm. people to do as well. I mean, you can play for yourself, you can do good. Um, so it's all about the strategy you're having. Uh, if you have big plans, maybe it's easier or better to, to group up or team up. Mm. Um, and another question, because I know, you know, we're gonna, there are packages, so you buy packages yes. as a player. But why would a player actually want to buy a package now during the beta phase before the actual full launch? What sort of it's strategy? It's all about the opportunity, um, like y you being the first. Uh, and also in beta, uh, we're looking into maybe I at the end of the beta, hundreds of thousands. Mm. Uh, and after that, maybe millions of players will be playing that simultaneously. Uh, so the competition will be a bit tougher mm. uh, in that sense. And also, usually being the first means that you have an advantage mm. uh, point to mm. it. So you start building up your collection. You have already an inventory for when the actual full game uh, launches. You are in a ready good position. Mm. I think uh, Felix, uh, the other co-founder of Nibiru, has a, a great way of explaining mm. um, Planet IX com by comparing it with Monopoly. And Monopoly, usually the very first bold move of a player kind of ensures or sets the entire tone uh, for their game mm -hmm. and usually those are the winner uh, mm -hmm. gamers so like it's about the opportunity it's about being the first in there and as uh, Christopher was saying it's also about exploration so like go and explore get familiarized with the features the menus mm. uh, and so on mm. Really interesting. Well, it is, as you say, about opportunity, but also about exploration. You know, that's sort of a good strategy, what leads to victory. And also the component of being able to do good, which we're going to talk mm. more about. So, I mean, how excited are you about this now? I mean, it's a beta today, and so we're going to launch. Yeah. We're super excited. Super excited. <laughs> we yeah. the, it's been uh, more and more buzzy at the office. People yeah. are getting excited. We, mm. we feel the pressure, and yeah. we are eager to, to share what we've been knowing for mm. a while and yeah, get people on board. Yeah. Well, great having you here. And I know you're both going to be with me in another open talk. So good luck with the work going forward. And um, thank you for watching this first episode. I hope you got a bit of a grip of this um, really interesting and game-changing platform, Planet IX. So do join us for the next open talk next week. See you then. Bye-bye.